What's up, y'all? So right now, I want to show you guys how you can use your 32-bit plugins inside a machine without using JBridger. For those of you who use JBridger, after this, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to delete it. I'm, I suggest that you delete it because I think that you're going to have problems um, with JBridger if it's already installed to work around the machine software and things like that. So um, for those of you who don't use JBridger and you know have a hard time using your 32-bit plugins in general inside a machine, this will fix your problems. Machine has already given you this option. You just didn't see it. Basically, it's all it is. And I found this after somebody commented and suggested that I turn it into a 32, uh, use it in 32-bit mode. I didn't know what he was talking about until I had to, until I was like work, messing with some stuff. So, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your or uh, what you call it, applications. And you're going to find where your machine products are. Not machine products, native instruments products. I didn't did this video like 10 times, so I'm trying to minimize my talking because I can't ramble. Native instruments products. And you're going to go. You can either pick your machine, whichever one you have, machine one or two. If you check the box for one, it's going to do it for the other, so it really doesn't matter. Um, right click it. Go to get info, and you're gonna click this box that says open in 32-bit mode. That's all you gotta do. That's it. And I'm mad because it wasn't even that hard. I'm so sorry. And it probably was in the manual somewhere. I just didn't wanna read it. All right, so there you have it. For those of you who knew about it and didn't tell nobody, I'm sorry and I'm mad. For those of you who didn't know, now you know. Now we can get back to making wonderful beats and, and, and being awesome in music. So you guys, let's take care. And I'm also excited because now I get to open the projects that I, that I couldn't open before. Using Jay Bridger has caused me to be very, very, very stagnant in my, my music making because I couldn't use Nexus. And for those of you who don't know, I love me some Nexus. I do. <laughs> Love me some Nexus. So now I can open up this project that I've been trying to open up for a month but couldn't because Jerry Bridger was causing it to crash. So yeah, I feel better now. So you guys be blessed, take care. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you like the video, thumbs up. Say something in the comment box or something. Say thank you or something. Say something. All right. <laughs> All right. Be blessed, take care.